हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज चंद्रशेखर वेलकमिंग यू ऑल टू दिस इनक्रेडिबली वंडरफुल संडे का फंडा सीरीज फॉर सिविल एंड मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर्स एज यू ऑल नो इन दिस सीरीज वी ब्रिंग एन इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट एंड ट्राई टू मेक इट सिंपल इजियर एंड इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर यू थ्रू द प्रैक्टिकल एप्लीकेशन और द लाइव डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन सो इसी सिलसिले में हम एक फिनोमिना की बात करते हैं कभी आपने ऑब्जर्व किया है एक गार्डन होज पाइप जो कि बेंड शेप में रखा रहता है वंस वी ओपन द वाल्व ऑफ द पाइप एंड वाटर स्टार्ट फ्लोइंग इन दिस गार्डन होज पाइप देन द गार्डन होज पाइप स्टार्ट डांसिंग ये क्यों होता है कैसे होता है लेट अस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द साइंस बिहाइंड इट हेलो एवरीवन, सो वेलकम बैक गाइज now let us try to find out the concept behind the forces which are developed due to pipe bend which is basically based on the application of momentum equation <clears throat> what exactly is the momentum equation which can also be called as newton second law so according to the momentum equation or newton second law the net force exerted will be equal to rate of change of linear momentum and what is the linear momentum linear momentum is denoted by p that is m into v so according to this momentum equation or newton second law we can say net force is equal to change in momentum of the fluid per unit time or we can also write it as mass flow rate into change in velocity right and whenever there is a change in velocity the force will be developed the change in velocity can take place in magnitude the velocity change can take place in direction or it can take place in magnitude as well as direction so now let us apply this momentum equation to the pipe bend whenever there is a bend in a pipe due to bend in a pipe the stream lines will become curved whenever there is a bend the stream lines will be curved and due to fluid flow the fluid will exert a force on the inner walls of the pipe which is normal and compressive on inner walls of the pipe bend the force exerted by the fluid will be in this direction which is normal and compressive similarly the same fluid flow will exert a force on the outer walls of the pipe also which is acting in outward direction like this and because of the curved stream lines the magnitude of the direction of velocity will change from inlet to outlet or we can say there can be a change in the magnitude of velocity also if the area at inlet is not same as the area at outlet so due to curved nature of the stream lines you must know that the inner stream lines will experience a lesser pressure the pressure on the inner stream lines will be less compared to the pressure on the outer stream lines so pi will be less than p not the pressure on the outer stream lines is p not pressure on the inner stream lines is pi and along with that due to bend in a pipe the inner surface will experience a contraction due to bend in a pipe the inner surface will experience a contraction like this there will be contraction on the inner stream uh, inner, inner surface of the pipe and there is an elongation on the outer surface of the pipe due to which the inner area area inner surface area of the pipe will be less than outer area of the pipe so because the inner pressure is less than the outer pressure and inner area is less than the outer area so the net force exerted on the pipe wall will be towards outward direction that is the force exerted on the pipe isn't it and according to newton's third law for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction i am only talking about the direction of force now so the force exerted on the fluid 
the resultant force exerted on the fluid will be in inward direction. These are the forces which are developed on the pipe that is outward and on the fluid that is inward. They are equal and opposite according to Newton's third law. And these forces are developed because of the bend in a pipe. There is a change in direction of the velocity and due to which these forces will be developed. Now, let us discuss the magnitude of these forces which are developed due to bend in a pipe. So, we can apply, we can write the momentum equation for our fluid mass. It is our system. So, the net force on the fluid, the net force exerted on the fluid, the resultant force on the fluid is FR which we have already discussed, direction we have already discussed. So, the net force exerted on the fluid is equal to mass flow rate of the flowing fluid in the pipe multiplied by the final velocity minus initial velocity of the fluid. This is how and the force, this expression is a vector equation. The, it is a vector quantity. That is why we need to specify the direction to get the magnitude of these forces which are developed on the fluid. All right. So let us try to understand the bend in a pipe. The pressure at the inlet of the pipe, section 1, that is before the bend. Section 1 is just before the bend. This is the bend in a pipe and the bend in a pipe is in a horizontal plane. Before the bend area is A1, the pressure of the fluid before the bend is P1 and the velocity of the flow at section 1 just before the bend is V1. The direction has already been shown and similarly at section 2, after the bend, just after the bend, the pressure is P2, area can be same, area can be different. If area is A2, then the velocity magnitude will be V2 and the pressure will be P2. So, our objective is to analyze this fluid mass which is between 1 and 2. So, theta is let us say angle of the bend, theta is the angle of bend with the initial flow direction angle of pipe bend with initial flow direction with x direction right so our control volume in which we are supposed to apply our momentum equation is the region between 1 and 2 this is our control volume and the net force exerted on the fluid i have already shown you the direction of force exerted on the fluid fr will be inward and it can be resolved into two components, x component as well as y component. This is positive x direction. This is positive y direction. So now we are ready to apply the momentum equation because the momentum equation is a vector equation. We need to specify the direction. In x direction, if we write the momentum equation for the fluid, then we can say this is angle theta. So the first term will be equal to in x direction, this is the positive x direction. The component of P1A1, it is simply P1A1 in positive x direction plus the resultant force will have a component in x direction that is fx, but it is having a negative component. So it will be minus fx. It is having a y component also that is not considered because we are writing the momentum equation for the fluid in x direction. Then P2A2 will also be resolved in x direction. This is P2A2 cos theta, isn't it, with negative sign. So it will be minus P2A2 cos theta is equal to mass flow rate of the fluid multiplied by the change in velocity. Final velocity is V2 but its component will be taken in x direction that is v2 cos theta, isn't it? So v2 cos theta will be the final velocity minus the initial velocity of the fluid is v1. This is how the momentum equation will be written. We can calculate for fx and mass flow rate can be written as a rho into q density into discharge or rho a1 v1 or we can write it as rho a2 v2 anytime. This is how the momentum equation can be written in x direction. Similarly, if we talk about the y component of momentum equation, y direction, this is the resultant force. x component of fr is x, fx and this is fy, y component. So, the component of p1a1 in y direction is 0. fy is in positive y direction, upward direction. 
minus there is a component of P2A2 in downward direction. So minus P2A2 sin theta is equal to mass flow rate of the flowing fluid into change in velocity that is final minus initial because we are applying the, the we are calculating the force on the fluid. So the final momentum will be more than the initial momentum. So change in momentum will be final minus initial. What is the final velocity in, in normal direct uh, in y direction it is v2 sin theta v2 sin theta minus initial velocity is in x direction. So its component in y direction will be 0. So from here we can calculate F pi. This is our control volume in which we are applying the momentum equation. Now what you need to understand here is because there is an outside fluid also. There is a fluid outside of the pipe also that is ambient air which will also exert a force on the walls of the pipe. So to ignore the effect of the outside air pressure we need to take the pressure of the outside air as p atm or zero atmospheric pressure should be taken as zero if we take the atmospheric pressure as zero it means the atmospheric pressure is taken as the reference so in the above equation in the earlier equation p1 and p2 must be taken as the gauge pressures everywhere P1 and P2 must be taken as gauge pressure. Then only we will get the forces Fx and Fy which are exerted on the fluid due to bend in a pipe. All right. So here also we will write P2 gauge pressure, P1 also gauge pressure. I hope this is clear. Once you solve for Fx and Fy, you will get the resultant force. The resultant force on the fluid Fr will be equal to under root of fx square plus fy square because fx and fy are perpendicular to each other fx and fy will be perpendicular to each other the angle of bend is theta so this is the resultant force exerted on the fluid fr is the force exerted on the fluid and the force exerted on the pipe will be equal in magnitude but opposite in direction to fr so the pipe will have a tendency to move in this direction. There is a tendency of pipe motion in this direction, in outward direction, because of the force which is exerted on the pipe. So to hold the pipe in position, we need to apply an external force on the pipe, which is same as, which is same as FR magnitude, same, and the direction will be same as FR. So this FR can also be called as force exerted or force required that is same as the force required to hold the pipe isn't it fr is same as the force and what is the angle of this fr we can say phi is equal to 10 inverse of f5 by fx this is angle phi phi is the angle of fr angle of fr with x direction so that is how we can also find out the magnitude as well as the direction of this FR. I hope you have understood how the forces are getting developed, how the direction can be, can be determined, how the magnitude of these forces which are developed due to bend in a pipe can be determined using the momentum equation. That is all from my side. See you in next such video. Till then, enjoy. Take care. Have a good day and a great future ahead. Thank you, guys.